Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, today I was going to talk to you a little bit about sim racing apps. And uh, there's a feature in there that I didn't know about till just recently. It's called uh, uh, Favorites. You can actually put Favorites at the uh, top of uh, sim racing apps. And one of the uses I was going to discuss about it was being able to put Discord as one of your favorites and turning it basically into a widget. So a lot of people have been asking for an overlay for Discord and right now iRacing doesn't support it. I think the easy anti-cheat actually blocks the uh, Discord overlay. So this is kind of a way of getting around it and just wanted to show you how you might set it up and what you might use it for. First thing you'll need to do is there's a couple of files. There's uh, If you go to my documents and then sim racing apps and favorites. Um, this will be in a uh, zip file that I'll, I'll give to you guys when I get done with the video. I'll post it up uh, probably on Facebook in the Sim Racing Apps uh, uh, Facebook group. So basically what you want to do is you want to open this file with a text editor. So we're going to open it with Notepad. Uh, I have three screens so you'll see me sliding things in and out to get them out of the way. Uh, this file is just a text file. Uh, that you'll have to edit. Uh, nothing major, but uh, there's a little template here that has uh, anywhere you see the little curly brackets, you might want to change those things. This uh, this is not mandatory right here, but let's just say you wanted to say, I want to connect to a Discord server named CRL, and let's say the channel is uh, Endurance Racing. Uh, so that, that's just going to, the only thing that's going to do is show a description on uh, sim racing apps so that you'll know what you're actually looking at. So you may end up having, wanting to have uh, two or three of these uh, favorites saved for each Discord server that you're on. Uh, so that's the reason you may want to name them something. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a web page and here uh, I'll open it up. It's called uh, simkit.discordapp.com slash overlay. You can go into either one of these. Um, it doesn't really matter whether even if you're streaming or not. I use XSplit to stream with. but So I'm just going to click on this link. It really doesn't install anything. It gives you a uh, web page and lets you set up a uh, overlay for Discord. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a voice widget right now. So I select the Christian Racing Endurance uh, voice channel. And so you have some options here. You can show only the users that are speaking. And so what that does is when someone speaks, it'll light up uh, on your Discord. And um, so you, you can also change this to use smaller avatars. That makes it a little smaller. You can actually hide names and only show the picture. And you can also set the colors and and the backgrounds and uh, uh, some of that other kind of stuff. But as you're setting all this, it's changing this URL over here that you can't see the whole URL. But what you want to do is highlight that uh, that URL and copy using Control C, or I guess you can right click on it too, copy. And now we're going to go back to our notepad. And where it says generated URL, we want to put that inside here. And we're going to save it. And I'm going to close this or move it out of the way. So now I'm going to show you some racing apps. Um, this is the web version of it. You can also do this with the, the uh, UI as well. but the web version I can just refresh without having to restart the server. So now I'm going to click on this and you'll notice it opened a uh, window for me uh, that shows my uh, my Discord connection and when I click on it you'll see that it lights up and you notice I got it on my stream as well uh, so that's kind of how it works. Now we're going to open uh, the Sim Racing uh, UI part of the sim racing apps. You'll notice it says uh, Discord. That was our favorite that we just created. Notice we 
everything that we typed in is here. That's just basically the description. You can see that you can open it with a transparent or a frame or a load on startup and those those options there. Um, by the way, this is the beta version and uh, Jeff has just added these few uh, extra options. So use them however you want to do it. So, but you click on this and basically it's going to open um, that widget um, on our screen. So now if we go and test, you'll see that uh, the sim racing app's there. I know what you're going to say. I don't like the big block. So that's where first thing you want to do is find out, uh, find a good empty space for this where you want it to be. And then uh, once you find that empty space, we can close sim racing apps or close the widget. Click on transparency or transparent background. Click on it, and now we have this. And so, as I'm racing, it'll be on my screen. Again, I still have it on my screen, but you notice every time I key up to talk, it's going to highlight my name green. One of the things I was talking about, though, uh, on the uh, Discord is if you only want to see speaking users, uh, which I would probably recommend because if you have 20 uh, different users in your uh, Discord server during a race, uh, it's going to get kind of long, kind of, uh, you know, kind of cluttered. So you might want to only show speaking users. That way it'll only pop up while you're, you're doing, uh, while you're speaking. But for demo purposes, I wanted to show what it would look like with somebody there. So, um, so while you're racing, you can see who's, uh, keying up there to speak. You may also notice that my radio is uh, popping up over here, uh, over here in this general area. This is because I'm also connected to TeamSpeak, and um, this is a little widget that uh, that Jeff helped me with. It's called Radio Transmitting, I think's what the what the name of it is. But uh, basically, anytime anybody either in and I didn't know this till last night. Anytime anyone's speaking in TeamSpeak, as long as their username matches their iRacing username it should key up uh, and display that even though it's in TeamSpeak but also if they're using the radio in, um, in the game it'll also display them there the only uh, caveat to that is uh, if it's you speaking it won't pop up for you uh, speaking in the game um, that's a limitation of iRacing it's not a something that's uh, Jeff does. They just don't turn on the the uh, indicator saying that you're the currently one speak the one speaking. But if uh, someone else is speaking, it'll pop up. So what I used it for was during the Daytona 24 race. Uh, I, I recorded and streamed about the whole race, and I wanted to. Um, uh, I got to noticing, you know, as the race went on, people were talking and things and. And you couldn't really tell what was going on, so I got with Jeff, and he helped me create this little widget for the the, the talking, which so every time someone talked, it would pop up and shows their name. But anyway, I didn't make it into the 24, but I thought of it afterwards, so it's going to show you all that. Um, so that's a little bit about uh, how how to do it, and then uh, what I was going to show you also is. Uh, once you get ready to close it and you can't see it because my taskbar is uh, hidden, you'll have to right click on the Discord and just do a close on it and that will close it for you. So uh, you'll see it down there in your taskbar. Remember you have to be running Windows mode to run these apps where they run over the top of that. Also you may want to make sure that you're not clicked on that app. I'm not. Uh, I, I think even though it's laying over the top of the screen, uh, it can uh, if, if you don't click on your uh, back on your race uh, sometimes your buttons won't work I've noticed that so just remember that uh, this, these files will probably I'll probably put them up in uh, uh, in a uh, SRA file for example uh, uh, one thing I did want to show is if you have not ever uploaded a widget um, to do that, basically you come down here to this file and 
uh, let's say open or find, find an SRA file and we're going to open it and then just do the upload and it'll upload it automatically for you. Restart the server and then that new uh, applet will show up. One more that I've I, I written with a lot of help from Jeff too uh, is uh, what I call a pit board. I have four monitors actually and I run this pit board up on the fourth monitor. Um, and he's got other applets that do the same thing or other widgets whatever you want to call them but this was something that uh, that I wanted uh, it basically shows you the last time you pit it how many laps to your empty uh, when your next pit stop should be number of stops left in the race uh, uh, when the last pit stop will need to happen so let's say you're running close on fuel and uh, you know if you can make it to seven lap 75 that'll get you to the end of the race that'll be the last pit stop of the race and this will tell you the last uh, pit stop fuel amount so let's you know if you only need eight gallons it'll show eight gallons this is incidents uh, number of cautions number of caution laps required repairs and optional repairs time remaining in the race uh, sometimes in the league I run we uh, if there's a lot of cautions we'll start running out of time so people have to make their strategy up based on how much time's left so uh, you know uh, if you know that you're gonna run out of time before you run out of laps you know sometimes we use that for strategy but then this is the fuel that you're burning per lap fuel in the tank and best and best and last lap times laps this run that's an interesting one too so let's say uh, you know you run 10 laps it's going to count until the next pit stop so once you pit that number starts over it's not the number of laps on your tires it's just the number of laps on this run uh, laps remaining in the race and lap one of however many it is and what kind of session it is so that's another widget I called it the pit board I think uh, just may release it with one of the versions if not you can download it from the Facebook so uh, sim race now it's pretty cool uh, if you ain't got it uh, I really like the pit road countdown on it uh, and that's really what got me started looking at it Jeff's thought up a lot of a lot of things in uh, some racing apps one of the, the other cool things is uh, he uh, if you go to the garage uh, it can uh, and you're streaming like I am now it can pop up a screen over your setup so people can't steal it from your stream so uh, I found this though just GIF on the uh, what is it GIFify or whatever it's called uh, uh, animated GIF just thought it'd be kind of funny to have going up during my streams and uh, so I put that on on my on my streams so once I come back out of the garage that goes away and uh, it stay it, it Stay, you know it comes up for just a second it, your screen will show for a second but at least they don't see your chassis and all that kind of stuff especially if you're on the oval side people uh, want to see that so anyway okay guys uh, that's about all I was going to show you uh, just remember that you have to edit the file in notepad and uh, you have to plug in that address that it gives you um, and put it into that uh, into the favorites folder I just found a discord uh, icon but if you want to create multiple ones uh, just uh, all you have to do is make a copy of this file rename it to something else make sure you got the JSON on the end of it uh, but maybe you want to name one for each discord server that you're a member of and hopefully that'll uh, might solve some of your issues with not being able to see who's talking on Discord. Uh, if you got more ideas? Just let me know, and I'll try to see what I can can show you. Uh, it's pretty cool what Jeff's done. Uh, again, he's thought of so many different things, and uh, uh, even to, every time I've asked him, it's like, "Oh, you can already do it if you do this, this, and this." So just uh, you know, don't be afraid to ask, but. Uh, don't also I know I can't promise you the world either so all right guys thanks uh, if you don't mind uh, if you like this video please like it if you like the channel uh, or if you want to subscribe to the channel I don't really post a whole lot I am starting to stream a little more so 
Uh, you might find something of interest, you might not. Uh, so, we'd we'll, we'll like to have some subscribers, would like to have some likes, and uh, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.